Well, welcome back. You know, beginning August the 7th on Wednesdays and Fridays, Amasi Nua. They're going to hold their yoga, and uh, it's going to be for everybody. It's going to be over at the Mitchell houses. That's right. And joining us with a preview, we have Ebony Simone. Welcome Hello. to the show. Thank you. I'm loving your whole look right now. Thank oh. you. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I like what you were saying in the beginning with, with the meanings of... Uh, Noir and all yeah. that stuff. Tell yes. us about the name. So Almasi Noir Jewels is my company. Mm -hmm. um, Almasi means diamonds in Swahili or in Arabic, and Noir is French for mm -hmm. black. Um, my name is Ebony. I was born in April. Mm -hmm. Well, I am born in April. Mm -hmm. And um, I was looking for a new name when I rebranded. Um, and I did some research, and Black Diamond made sense. Yeah. And, um, so that it has a little juge, you know, yeah. I created Almasi Noir. Um, it was actually, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed <laughs> uh -oh. to say, Why? but it was stoned to death. Okay. Oh. Okay. Which the jewelry is focused on natural gemstones. Yeah, and, and, and we all see all that with like yeah. with your rings and the, your necklace. Yeah, so the, the focus is the energy that is God given yeah. into the stones. So, so you made you refocus because you felt funny about the name. Yeah, Stone to death. exactly. I was getting a lot of pushback from friends and you, you know to bring new politics. Life to yeah, the, yeah to I the wanted it because it's about beauty and and goodness now? and. Black Diamond. Exactly. Yeah, I love That's it. Right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So tell us a little bit about the products that you have. So I create um, non-duplicated pieces of jewelry that mm. are focused on the chakras, which are centers in the body um, that connect us with the grand consciousness and the energy Nobody of the universe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, you were speaking of Reiki earlier. I'm yes. a Reiki practitioner oh, as well. Oh, okay. So I put all of that um, knowledge and practice into the jewelry, which helps to center and balance our energies. What are some of the stones that you use in your pieces? Um, anything from pyrite, um, Herkimer diamonds, which can be found in Herkimer, New York, upstate. Oh. Um, lapis lazuli, which is one of my favorites. Um, what are we seeing here on your so, necklace? And your uh, we all, as kids, we used to collect rocks yeah. and stuff like that, but this is amazing. So this necklace has amethyst and hematites, um, a little bit of pyrite, some black agate, this is um, a crackle um, clear quartz, I believe. Um, there's coral and unikite, um, labradorite, mm -hmm. um, a lot of rocks. garnet. Um, what do you have on your hand? This yeah. is jade, turquoise, labradorite. I remember um, talking about like jade is becoming so popular yeah, now. Mm -hmm. um, especially like, you know, we were talking about like on Instagram, a lot of the uh -huh. celebrities now they're using like jade rollers because it's supposed to be good for the skin. Exactly. You know, so, exactly. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't think that there's so much significance with the stones well, I that mean, we, ha we have here on your, on your ring and on your necklace. Mm -hmm. I think it's important um, to have faith and a belief in it just like you would anything else. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I do believe that the properties of the stones will work if they're within your auric field, whether you believe it or not. Mm -hmm. But you know, Jesus doesn't work if you don't believe in him, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very powerful to believe in that which you are putting your energy into. It's also important to believe, to know that this energy isn't outside of us, right? right? Like everything we're seeking is within us so already. So it's important, it's important, like you said, like to have your faith, like with me, exactly. yes, like you mentioned Jesus, for me, like that's my faith. So yeah. like I believe and I put my faith in him, believing exactly. that everything is possible. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that from, you, you mentioned God from the stones made, mm -hmm. that you feel yeah. um, that and, there's and, a strength behind yeah. the stones and like a healing that healing properties, absolutely. So how does that work in your practice with Reiki and yoga? So you use gemstones um, in the Reiki right. um, session to tune the energies within each chakra in the mm -hmm. body. So um, they just do what they do. They, ha you know, certain stones you focus on different chakras, and depending on you know what is required within the session, we use that to attune. What elements do people come to you with mostly? Um, you know, really, it's a lot of trauma. Trauma. Mm. Just childhood trauma, personal trauma, relationship trauma, um, self-esteem issues, you know, maybe even um, some pain in the knees. Um, they're currently administering Reiki for cancer patients, um, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the hospitals. You know, the possibilities are endless. It's just really about, you know, 
what you believe and, and the access that you mm. allow. And now you're giving them access with the healing through yoga as well. You're offering yes. free yoga to the community. I am. Um, through my personal healing journey, I've used yoga to um, heal myself. And um, it's a very powerful practice, hundreds of years old. And I thought that the community that I inhabit now, which isn't my home, I'm born and raised in Chicago. I've been living in the South Bronx for about five years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of poverty and um, unfortunate circumstances within the community. Yeah. Um, as one of, as Felicia was Felicia. speaking, Felicia <laughs> <laughs> was talking about earlier, you know, you want to... I'm glad she left. She really did something. <laughs> that that <laughs> um, you... We all need access mm -hmm. to heal things that we deal with. Right. And the power is within us. And mm -hmm. I think that's really important. And yoga gives us all access to that, that so magic that's within. If you don't mind me asking, what did you heal yourself from? Uh, childhood, trauma, um, relationship issues, um, nothing uber tragic. You know, I, I am blessed to have lived a privileged um, life, but mm. there, you know, trauma looks different for everybody. Yes, it is. So, um, this work that I do wasn't necessarily exalted within my home. Mm. You know, I was raised mm -hmm. believing in Jesus and going to the stations of the cross, and that never resonated mm. with me. So, um, having God given talents and access to energies um, within the universe, I've decided to step into that power and mm -hmm. use what I've learned to offer healing to other people. And this is going to be happening at the Mitchell Houses, yeah. which yes. is also the Mount Haven section of the Bronx. It okay. is. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, when is it starting? It starts this Wednesday. This Wednesday. This Wednesday right. so at 10.30 30 a.m. And it's going Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesday, How are you yes, two days Wednesdays and Fridays so far. How's it going to look? People going to come down? Well, there's a lawn yeah. behind the senior building, which uh -huh. is right across from the Chase Bank. And... Um, do we have to bring in our own mats? No, we have yoga we have mats. This, We've everything. been gifted yoga mats oh, by the Department the grass, of Health. Just be no. ready to, to, to You could do that too. Right? I'm open. Okay. Yeah, connecting to the earth is, is oh, the whole point. Oh, she's a part of us. <laughs> yeah. We're open. We're all open. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, so we so do have great. yoga mats. And so just come. Just Everybody come, right? can come. We'll have modified poses. Uh, you don't have to worry about if you've done yoga before. Mm -hmm. It's for beginners, for intermediate, Yoga for, for experts, all. everyone just come and yes, be welcome. Just come and be ready to move. Oh, well, Ebony, well, I'm sure they will so be. Much. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here today. I appreciate Thank you for sharing it. your soul and your beauty with us. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Black diamond in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony Simone, founder. Thank you. Amasi Noir. That's Black right. Black diamond. That's right. Thank Excellent. you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, I had a great time with everybody coming on. I hope you had a great Bob. time too watching. Yes. And uh, thank you for coming in and, and co-hosting with me. Thank yeah. you for We got to do it again. I would love to. It was all fun. right. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank you, our guests, for tuning in and checking it all out. You can catch a recable cast tonight at five and ten p.m. or watch anytime anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. You can tune in Wednesday okay. an all new one, a new all new episode with Darren Jaime. Yeah. I'm Veronica Guiti. Remember to always let your light shine. Bob, thank you so much again. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And for all of us here at Bronx Net, have a great and enjoyable day. And always remember this. What you are is God's gift to you. And what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice. Let your choice control the chooser. And I'll see you on your radio. Auto 7.5 WBLS tonight. Yeah. Love you all. Peace. You coming? Uh